Hey, good morning. This is uh, Pete in North Las Vegas. I think this is video seven on my uh, Colt uh, eight, A2H bar clone build. And this is the barrel that I'm going to be using for that build. And um, I just got the barrel back from uh, a place up in Utah called Trajectory Arms. And I sent the barrel and all the parts up there to have this uh, A2 FSB mounted on the barrel and have it taper pinned. And man, they did a fantastic job. Um, when I got this barrel from Criterion, it did not have a nick scratch. There was nothing wrong, the, the barrel was pristine. And I got it back from Trajectory in the exact same condition I sent it to them. Not a nick or a scratch anywhere. So very happy about that. So I thought we'd do some close-ups of the, uh, the taper pin job. And then I'm gonna put this uh, barrel on my uh, upper and we'll use this uh, text, text fixture here to, to make sure that the uh, FSB is aligned uh, properly. Okay, so I got the, uh, the standard A2 front sight base from uh, Fulton Armory. And you can see a little bit of the shiny metal showing through on the, uh, the park rising. So that was like that when I sent it up there to trajectory arm. So they, they didn't do that. I got it that way from Fulton. And I also had uh, trajectory put the uh, sling mount swivel on here. And you can see they did a pretty good job on that rivet. It's not split or mangled anywhere. It, it turned out pretty good, I think. So anyway, um, we'll take a look at the other side. Okay, so there's the taper pins and they're, they're protruding just, just the right amount. Uh, the, the handguard cap is nice and snug when I got it back from them. The gas port was all aligned nice. I don't know if you can see that, probably not enough light, but it, everything's aligned. Um, and this is very snug. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I got this barrel back with not a scratch, ding, or rub mark on it anywhere. So they did a fantastic job. Okay, so this is a little uh, telescoping um, test fixture that I used to see if the, uh, the front sight bases align properly. Um, this is not your Home Depot or your Lowe's tubing. This is precision tubing. And uh, I ordered this from McMaster Car. Now, I gotta give a shout out to AR15 Tech Tips in under five minutes, that's his channel name. AR-15 Tech Tips in under five minutes. Um, he has a video where he shows by part number uh, which size tubing to order from McMaster Car and, and how he made his. So like I said, I don't want to steal his thunder. That's uh, where I came up with the, the tubing dimensions for this one. I did change a few things around. Uh, I made this so that I can check barrels um, a lot shorter then uh, even 16 inch and all the way out to 20 inch. So I made one, one test fixture that'll do from, I think about 14 inches easily up to 20 inch barrels. So let's get this thing uh, installed in the, the barrel and, and see how the trajectory arms did on alignment. Okay, so did trajectory arms up in Utah get this front sight base straight? Why, yes they did. That's about as good as it gets. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a short video today. Um, I do have some parts I'm waiting on. I've got a set of uh, A2 round handguards coming from Fulton Armory. I have an old original set of Colt handguards and Wyndham weaponry, so when the Fulton Armory shows up, we'll do a comparison on, uh, on handguards and uh, see what, uh, what differences or any kind of quality or fitment. And, uh, We'll get the delta delta ring installed, get the gas tube installed, and uh, so that'll all be in the next video. Like I said, just a quick one today, and just to let you know that um, as far as my barrel went, they did a fantastic job.